Hey guys, welcome to Electronics. This is a quick video, sorry for the mess here. I worked a lot on the probe to try to, to create a circuit for the protection of the SD and I think it's working now. I was unable to damage it and I think it's working. So I placed the probe here and I have a dipole here transmitting a 406 megahertz signal and look at this guys, I can change the position of the antenna here and we can see here in the power meter look at this, let me zoom here I can rotate the antenna to change the polarization and you can see there in the power, the power dropping and if I place the antenna again in the vertical position you can see the power going up I can change the position here, actually we need to change the to the correct frequency here 450 megahertz we can enter in here in the relative mode so look at this i will place the antenna here let me let me think here because i have only one hand here okay let's see i will zero out the display here in relative mode and now i can change the position of the antenna and we see the relative power changing there pretty nice guys pretty nice i will try to damage it again i will try to discharge some esd some uh, voltage spark here on, on the probe but i think now we have it working guys here you can see what i made we have now a zener diode to protect the reverse voltage on the detection uh, junction we have here inside of the tape we have a diode uh, in parallel with the temperature junction to protect it in the reverse direction. We have some resistors in series with the, um, the cables, not in all the cables, not in all the wires because uh, some of the wires can't have any series resistance here because it changes the, the measuring because of the, the, how the circuit was made in the front end. But here guys, here is the, the main idea that you have a resistor to equalize the charge between the two grounds so here we have a cut in the PCB and we can equalize the two grounds in the long term with this 47k resistor we also have a capacitor to, pre to reduce the maximum uh, uh, voltage rise when we have an ESD discharge and we also have two clamping diodes between the two grounds so if the voltage between the two grounds try to uh, uh, increase uh, above the, the drop of the diodes, they hardly conduct uh, shorting the two grounds together. And I think this is the final solution, guys. I think this is the final solution. You can see the construction here. Um, these, these cables here are very bad to, to solder here because they are uh, a PVC and they melt down. So if you uh, um, is able to to get a are able to get a, um, a silicon cable, probably much better to work here. But soldering with low temperature, you, you can make the solders here using very thin connections here to the resistor and to the temperature diode. We pre we reduce the energy consumption of the the heater, uh, preventing the the thermal uh, uh, energy dissipation and this tape here is a bit bad here we can try to make it better okay but it's working guys i think this is the final uh, solution i need now to place the shrinking tube to shrinking to shrinking tube here and i use make some tests but i think now we have the, the circuit properly working. I will make some tests here uh, before I release the final schematics uh, but uh, I think this is good news guys I think this is good news. Probably in the next video I will have the, the final solution for you, okay? Thank you for watching guys and I see you in the next video of Allotronics.